Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we will learn about flow files in detail. Flow files are the most crucial part in NiFi. So let's spend some more time on them. A flow file is a data. It's composed of two components, content and attributes. Content is the actual data itself. Attributes are key value pairs which contains information about the content. These are the metadata from the flow file. This metadata can be creation date, file name or where the data is from and what information it represents. A processor can either manipulate the attributes of a flow file, say update, add, remove attributes or it can change the content of the flow file or it can do both. As you know, NiFi is based on flow based programming. Here, the entire construct is to use the components provided by NiFi to manipulate the attribute and content of the flow files to get the required output or data flow of your choice. One final yet important detail you should know about flow files are it's persisted in the disk and it's passed by reference. Let me explain this in more detail. Whenever a new flow file is generated by a processor, it gets immediately persisted into the disk and NiFi will just pass the reference of the flow file to the next processor. A new flow file will be created only when you update the content inside the existing flow file or when you ingest new data from a source to a processor. New flow files will not be created when you manipulate just the attributes of the flow file. This is one of the critical detail you should know to develop an efficient data flow using NiFi. That's it for this video guys. I hope you got a fair understanding of flow files in NiFi. Don't worry even if you are not able to understand this completely. You will get a clear understanding once we start the hands on with NiFi. Thank you. See you in the next video.